Hi everyone, welcome to my sales video, uh, the first one of the week and it's a good one. I'm really pleased to say that sales have increased and we have 41 things going out, totaling around 920-ish pounds. Um, and all of them are on eBay apart from one which is Depop, so I'm really, really pleased. It just goes to show that we're back outsourcing listing straight away and it's making a difference so if this is the first video you've watched of ours i'm faye and together with my husband simon we're fns resellers and we're pretty much full-time resellers although we don't do it full-time <laughs> we like to have time off and like walk the dogs and go out for lunch and do all that sort of thing so um just think if we really did this sort of 40 hours a week each we could just be doing so much better but we're really happy uh, with the way our life is this is exactly how we wanted it to be and we like to record um sort of our antics to show you um what we get up to so we do sales videos a couple of times a week because uh, we post twice a week and those sales videos show you what's going out um, the prices we paid for each item and the prices we sold each item for and any other sort of relevant information that we want to share, that need to share, that we have to share. Uh, so yeah, uh, just a quick recap if you haven't watched us before, we source from mainly charity shops um, and auctions. We sometimes have a, have a break from the auctions which is kind of what we're doing at the moment. We haven't um, one, one, well, we haven't bid on anything at the auctions for a few weeks. We have sold a few bits, um, but we sort of back out in the charity shops because we just that's the thing we love the most. And um, we'll get back into the auctions soon. Uh, but with the auctions, you have to kind of really buy in bulk, and it's not as fun as charity shopping. Um, yeah, so I will start with the breakables. Um, there's quite a few this week, and these are going to annoy me. Uh, so first things first, you wouldn't have seen these before because although they're recently sourced and we've been doing haul videos, um, they sort of uh, came in and went out or got listed and sold really, really quickly. Uh, they're candles, so they're sort of really nice dishes. I know you can't smell it, but they smell lush. There's a pink one and then there's a green one. Now these are going to be difficult to post because this is sort of really kind of very fragile. Uh, but they're Angel Strawbridge, who if you don't watch Escape to the Chateau, then you won't, maybe won't know who she is. Uh, but her and her husband, Dick Strawbridge, have a chateau in France and they've done a whole TV series or multiple TV series about sort of restoring this um, chateau. And we love it. It's like real sort of like, like a sort of, it's really good escapism, but it's like just such a positive feel good program. So if you haven't watched it, watch it. And I know it's huge. Um, but these were five pound each in a charity shop. Apparently they've been in a window for a week. I took them out the window because they had no interest and they were originally priced at 10 pound each. I bought them for five pound each and they sold within about 36 hours of listing and they sold to the same person. I listed them separately and they sold for 29.99 each. So I'm so happy with that. Uh, pop them down here in a little basket I've got for breakables. Okay, next up, we've got a Coca-Cola glass. This was in a recent haul video. We picked up six of these. I wasn't really interested in picking them up. And but Simon was like, no, 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 we're getting these. I got confused with the, the other shape Coca-Cola glass, which is, I think it's, is it the Icon glass? Where it's sort of wide at the top. They don't tend to do that well, but these ones, these were McDonald's um, in the shape of a can. We had four purple, I think, one blue and one green. This is the first one to sell, the green one. It cost 50p and we sold it for 9 99 <coughs> Going to be thirsty today, I can tell. Another quick sale, uh, also in a recent haul video, uh, was a load of Kath Kidston um, sort of crockery that I picked up. It was a tea set but sort of mixed items. And I split it down, like I listed the teapot on its own, this milk jug, um, some cups and saucers, some mugs, all kind of got listed separately in sets. So this is, the design is called Woodland Rose. And I paid 4 95 for this, just literally the first week that the charity shops reopened in April of this month. And it sold really quickly for 24 99 So really happy with that. 
Did I say that there was 40, 41 items over £900? I think I did, but I said it again. Uh, another breakable is this vintage St Michael, aka Marks and Spencer's mug. And this was in a job lot from the auction, just came with a load of breakables that we bid on. It cost £1.61, listed it in March, and we sold it for £12.99. Some had sold for less, but I went high because I wanted more. Now these plates have featured in the vintage unboxing um, video that I did sort of uh, recently and there was two pairs of these plates. One pair sold last week and this pair sold over the weekend for, uh, they cost £3.72 and I took an offer of 20 because I, I don't know anything about them, I couldn't find anything. Uh, they're Frank Richards, Ed Wiesels, Brooks, commemorative plates. Um, but yeah, the person that bought the first pair left positive feedback, uh, really pleased with that. So maybe that encouraged someone to buy this set, who knows. I'm running out of room in my breakables. Dang, already. Uh, paperweights, you know, we love to sell a paperweight. This one was a recent pickup. Uh, I think we got this in a charity shop. Cost three ninety nine. It's unmarked. It hasn't got a signature or sticker or anything. I listed it, listed it as an art glass paperweight, oval, yellow flowers, multicolored swirls, unsigned, nine centimeters tall. Uh, yes, yeah, so we paid three ninety nine and we sold it for sixteen ninety nine. Another paperweight is this larger one, and this one has been listed since October. So this came from an auction job lot. It cost £5.67, uh, which is quite high for a paperweight and it wasn't a great sale. Uh, we sold it for 9 99 And it, I listed it as art glass paperweight, three points inside there. Blue, green, yellow, red, oval, egg, bubbles. It's always good to mention if there's bubbles. And it's unsigned again, no sticker or anything. This one here is technically not a paperweight. It's actually resin, it's not glass. And I'm, I know I featured this in a video recently. Um, it came as a big job lot. It's a resin paperweight and it's got multiple sides and it's got like clock or watch pieces in it, sort of floating inside. And I paid £2.59, listed it in March as part of a job lot and it sold for eight pounds. I took an offer because it's really, it was just what we call fodder, just stuff left over from big bulk purchases that we wanted, but we're always left with sort of individual items that we're not really keen on. And that is what happens when you buy in bulk from auction, you always get fodder. Whereas at the charity shop, you can just sort of um, buy the pieces you want. And then the last paperweight, this was definitely in a video because we called it a sleepy, pe sleepy cock, sleepy peacock. Um, it's a Peacock Mill Fury Paperweight. It's art glass, blue, red, yellow, round, collectible, retro. So it's supposed to stand up like that. And there's loads of these online for sale. This costs 3 dollars I got it from a charity shop within the last two weeks and it sold for 14 dollars and it's going abroad via GSP. I'll just pop these down here for a second. Don't go anywhere. There we go. And then the next sale is a brilliant one. It actually came in yesterday when we stopped at a cafe for a drink whilst um, sourcing. And they're the best ones when they're high and they come in when you're out, sort of just taking time out, which if we had a full-time job, we wouldn't be sitting in a cafe at half past three in the afternoon. Um, it's just one of the perks of working for ourselves. So it just makes it even better when you get sales like this, ching, as you tuck it into your pastel donata or something. Um, so uh, these were on a haul video recently. Um, I think it was the first or second week that the charity shops reopened. We went to a big town near us and I found a big set of uh, Habitat crockery. It wasn't a full set. There was um, three dinner plates um five side plates six dessert bowls there was a set of four espresso cups and saucers mm, 
mugs, teacups. So I kind of split it down into each individual type and listed them separately. So I listed these habitat, the design is Prato, Prato Prato, it says it on the bottom. They're dark blue, almost black. And it costs, these six dessert bowls cost £1.67 for the lot. Um, and we sold those along with these five um, side plates, which also cost £1.67 for those lot for £84.98. Boom, the whole thing cost £10. So really, really happy. Right, all the breakables are out the way, so I won't break them while I'm talking to you. And I'm gonna get these out of the way because they're annoying me. Uh, just scroll down to the bottom of my list. Um, what's this one? Okay. We've mentioned in previous videos that all of the sort of um, clothing, accessories, underwear, um, all that sort of thing that we've been left over with from job lot auction bundles that we don't want to list individually because there's too many of them or we're just sort of fed up of seeing them or there's not enough money in each individual item. We've been listing them as big job lots for other resellers, uh, car booters, market store holders, um, all those sort of things. And we've been putting them in suction bags this one is a job lot of 50 underwear items, mainly women's, all brand new, mix of sizes and styles. Listed this in April. The cost price of this will actually be zero because when we're buying big sacks of clothes and um, accessory items from the auction, we make two piles. One pile is the stuff we want to list and then the other pile is stuff that we just don't want to list. So I work out the cost price based on the items that we do want to list and anything else left over is zero. So this one works out at zero, and we sold it for 30 pound plus post, so 38.49. We put it in the suction bags to make storage easier, but we'll take it out of the suction bag before we post it, and it will go UPS. We had like over 20 of these, maybe nearly 30, and I think we've got nine left. I'll throw that down there. And then we sold another one. This suction bag has failed on us. It's not suctioned. Poked myself in the ear. Uh, this one is a job lot of 49 items, underwear, lingerie, knickers, bras, boxers, pants, accessories. Again, the cost price was zero. And we took an offer on this one of 14 pound plus post. So it's going out for 22.49. The reason this one was lower is probably because there's less um, sort of desirable items in there. Um, but either way, what's our trash is someone else's treasure. So out of the door that goes. And that will also go UPS. So now I can actually move my arm. Woohoo! Right, what else have we got? Um, get rid of these. These were in a big job lot of homeware items and they were just loose in a bag. So it's like the command hooks that are really good. Um, but the packets were split open and all the hooks were just in the bottom of sacks of other stuff. Um, so I put bundles together and they've been hanging around a while. Um, so I took an offer on this one. And now I can't find it on my list. Um, bear with me. Oh, here we go. It's command designer hooks. 24 of the hooks, but only four sticky tabs. The hooks have a max weight um, of one pound three, 1.3 kilos. So that's how much you can hang on a hook. Um, easy peel, damage free. These have been listed since January. I worked out that it cost three pound 13 for this as part of a big bundle of homeware stuff that we picked up and it just sold for eight pound, but I was glad to get it gone. Um, oh, I'll do these next. Now, sometimes when you bid on the auction bits and bobs, We've been doing it online, we haven't been going. I can't remember the last time we actually went in and had a look on um, a viewing day. But I saw what I'm gonna show you next in a box and I was quite intrigued. So they're brass flying geese, sort of thing that Jason reselling would pick up. If you don't follow him on Insta, you should, because he knows his stuff when it comes to sort of vintage and antique um, sort of homeware items. But there's obviously three of these. They're vintage wall hangings 
and everyone who'd sold them before had put Hilda Ogden in their title, so I did too. I think she was Coronation Street and had ducks or something on her wall. They're mid-century and home decor. Paid £2.75 as part of a big job lot, and I went high on price. Um, I wanted to hold out, I was happy to hold out. Uh, so I sold them for, I think I had them up for 39 99 and I sold them for 35 So that was good. Um, pop these somewhere so they're not going to get damaged. <sighs> right. Okay. Uh, just a water bottle here or like a protein shake bottle. Uh, this was in a big job lot of bottles that we picked up last year. Did really well out of that bundle, sold some great ones straight away, but have been left with a few not so great ones. Um, this one is Universal Nutrition Powerline Shaker Bottle, cost 97p in November, and we sold it for £7.59. I need a drink. This was not a great item. I think this might have been in a job lot of toys and games. It sold last night for 99p plus post on auction. It's, we've had it since June, so it's been hanging around way too long. And when that happens, we put things to a 99p auction. And we also put in the SKU, the custom SKU, the word clear, so we can easily see what we want to get rid of, what we want to send to auction. Um, so it's a really handy way of filtering stuff down. So yeah, £4.94 in total for this. I, think, I don't know if it's Tesco's. Yeah, it is Tesco's. <clears throat> this was our Depop sale. It's all bagged up. But it's a navy blue Under Armour t-shirt, size medium. This would have been in a big job lot of items that we picked up from auction. And... I think, can I see what I paid? Um, bear with me. No, I can't see what I paid. It would, wouldn't have been very much and it sold for £13.59 because we're running a 20% off sale on eBay at the moment. Started on Friday, so I thought why not just carry that 20% sale over um, to Depop. So I um, applied that to all my listings at the weekend and this sold on a 20% sale. We've had, we had loads of Under Armour stuff and some of it does just stick around. <clears throat> Next, a baseball cap, because if you watch our videos regularly, you know that we sell a lot of hats. This is a Macron Edinburgh Rugby BT Sport baseball cap. Um, black, Scotland, adjustable. It's brand new without tags. It cost £2.69 as part of a hat bundle in January and we sold it for £12.63. Our hats are actually going down. We probably won't buy any more hats now until late summer, early autumn, purely because when we buy hats, there's a mixture of sort of winter hats, baseball caps, and we don't want any winter hats at the moment. Um, a champion t-shirt has sold, finally. So in a recent, I think it was a video last week, we'd sold one, I took a really low offer. So they're just hanging around, I just cannot sell them at all. Um, they were part of auction bundles, um, I wouldn't pick up Champion in a shop. I know other people do. There's certain ones that sell really, really well. Um, but I think I, in the last video, I said, please, if anyone knows how I can shift these Champion t-shirts, give me a shout. No one gave me a shout with any tips, but another one sold. So someone heard me. Uh, so this cost 59p in December. It's large. And it sold for £10.39. And we've still got two available. Another t-shirt that I took a low offer on just because it was part of an auction item. Um, it's been, we've had it since October. It cost £1.93 and I took an offer of £4.50 to get it gone. It's the Descendants Fairest Children's Unisex t-shirt. Is that something to do with Disney or is it a film? Who knows, can't remember. A winter scarf. Ooh. This is a pass-through scarf, so it's one where you've got the hole in the middle of the scarf so you can feed part of the scarf through the hole so you don't have to wrap it around your neck loads of times. Um, it is Ellen Ray's, or Rees, R-E-Y-E-S, and pretty sure it's Costco stock. 
It's a uh, faux fur and it's got a chevron pattern on it. It's brand new without tags. It costs £4.3p. and It's part of a big bundle in December and it sold for £4.7p. Boom. Not going to get rich off this, um, but glad it's gone. I've had a lot of interest in these jeans. Um, I cross-listed them to Depop and possibly Vinted, I'm not sure. But they're just Boohoo jeans and it's not a brand that I would ever pick up. But it was in an auction bundle. They're light blue, straight leg jeans, UK 8. Um, probably one of the reasons they've been hanging around is because they're a small size. And they were brand new tags. They cost £1.93 in December and I sold them for £5 which I was happy to do because you know us, we just get rid of all that boohoo, quick little thing stuff for around four or five pounds. Uh, a great sale is this hat. It's a VR46 Yamaha dual racing baseball cap. It's brand new of tags. It cost £1.93 as part of a hat bundle in November and we sold it for £19.99. <clears throat> I'm sure that sold before and someone didn't pay. Uh, a fedora hat, uh, the brand is My Accessories London exclusive, it's khaki green, um, it's brand new with tags, it cost £3.32 as part of a hat bundle in January and we sold it for £16.62 so that would be on the 20% sale thing that we've got going on. So thirsty. Another cheapy game, um, this was part of an auction bundle, this is like, uh, this was uh, bad. And I mean bad because we sold it for less than we bought it for. However, the high cost price for this will mean that there would have been other items in the bundle that we really wanted. So it probably was Warhammer stuff where sometimes the cost price is quite high. So this was £7.33. I mean, yeah, not worth £7.33. Ring toss game and it sold for £6.83. That will be on the 20% offer. Um, but when we buy Warhammer, we do really, really well with it. So sometimes there's other little bits and bobs that we don't want in there, and that'll be one of them. Now, someone sent an offer on these uh, uh, on Friday, and it took a while for me to accept it because Simon was pretty sure he wanted to keep these. Uh, they're football boots, um, but he, they didn't fit him. He tried them on, and it just wasn't happening. So I finally got to accept the guy's offer. Uh, they're Umbro, don't know my Roman numerals, so I'm not even going to say it, but they're wishbone, football boots, size 10, and black, unworn, no box. They cost £5 in February, and we sold them for £20. I have no idea if they were part of a auction lot or a charity shop. Um, who knows? Some socks. Sold a couple of packs of socks. This one is um, chunky long length wool blend men's socks, size 6 to 11 grey, brand new tags. They cost £1.93 in November as part of a big sort of sock bundle that we picked up and they went out on the 20% sale at £7.59. They're winter, so we want to get rid of winter. A Simply B dress. This was an auction um, bundle item. Uh, where is it? It's an animal print button through tea dress, size 14, brand new with tags. Cost £1.93 in December and it sold for £12.30 on the 20% off sale. It was cross listed to Depop but sold on eBay. More socks, men's sketches trainer socks. These ones were part of a sock bundle again. Um, and these were uh, £4 and 3p, had them since July last year. So that's uh, that's why they went for 4 75 because we just reduced the price down to get them gone. They would be Costco stock from the auction. Uh, next is this bagel guillotine. I'm pretty sure I picked this up when we were out with um, shopping with Sophie last year um this i picked it up because i've got one and they were they were really popular when the oc used to be on i don't know if anyone used to watch the oc but oh, what were they called seth's mum and dad 
had one of these on their kitchen island. I was like, oh my God, I need one of those. Uh, it's the original bagel guillotine, bagel biter, boxed white, the OC, the world's best. Cost three pound in July, so we've had it a while and it sold for 11 99 so not great. Um, should have gone for more and probably would have done um, a couple of years ago. <clears throat> now these are so random. I think you might have seen, yes, you have seen these. If you've watched uh, one of our um, haul, auction haul videos, you'd have seen these. Um, it was me sitting in my lounge, like looking at shoes in a big sack that we've got. So they're basketball trainers. They're like, for bas like training um, basketball because they have these bits here. So you don't actually put your heel on the floor, you're literally on your toes. They're strength men's vertical jump trainers, size uh, UK 11 and a half, white plyometric basketball trainers. Uh, they cost £7.83 in March and we sold them for £40. Very specialised, very niche. And they're so big that they had to go in separate um, bags. We didn't have bags big enough. Next is a kind of an auction fail. And this is one of the reasons why charity shopping is better than auctions. There's pros and cons to both. We love shopping at the auction and we've done really, really well. It kept us going all through lockdown. But because of lockdown, you couldn't go into the auction to have a look at um, what was going to be on uh, for sale on the Saturday, which we normally would like to do on a Friday, we'd go and have a look around. So there was like a women's knit knitwear bundle and it didn't say how many items are in the bundle. You couldn't, it wasn't obvious from the pictures, but there was like cashmere and all that sort of thing. So I, I won the lot um, and it worked out £18.94 per item, which is quite high, but then there was only like five or six items in there. Um, so this is a Woolovers 20% cashmere, 80% merino wool knitted polo shirt, extra large, and it's brand new with tags. So yeah, 18.94, got it in February, sold it for 38.99. I mean, there's money in it, but not loads. For that sort of cost price, I'd wanna be selling things for a lot more. Um, so ideally, if there had been a lot more items in the bag, the cost price would have gone down. Um, but it's a winter item, so it's good to get it out the door. Um, Uniqlo, is that how you say it? Uniqlo, Uniqlo, cup, bra, medium, bust. Um, it's brand new with no tags. It cost £1.87 in January as part of an auction bundle again, and sold for £12.79. We had a lot of watches on this and a lot of interest because apparently they changed their bras, um, like the design or something to do with the bra design. Um, and we had a lot of people asking for a code on the actual label of the bra because there's the code of the original one differs by like one digit or something. And there's a lot of fans of the original bra, which they don't make anymore. Um, so I've never been asked for that sort of information on bras before and we sell a lot of bras. So that went, that cost 187 and sold for 12.79 as part of a 20% off promotion. Uh, men's belt, this is a, the brand is Strees, woven stretch belt, it's double XL. Um, it's a leather covered buckle somewhere inside. Cost £1.93 as part of a big accessories bundle in November and in the sale, 20% off, it sold for £7.59. And this was uh, an offer that came through overnight, which I accepted this morning. This was in a home or stationary bundle or something that we got from the auction. Um, I don't think it had any relevance to what else was in the bag. Um, it cost £1.93 in November. It's a Robin teacher print lunch bag, cool bag. And um, it's from like a sort of independent website where people like put art on things. Um, so it's quite niche. Yeah, and we sold it for five pounds because it's just been around a while and I knew it wasn't really going anywhere. It's quite cute. Um, and that leaves us with two more really good sales. The best sale that we've had in ages, actually, one of them. Um, I will do that one last day. 
the one that I'm going to show you, if I can find it on my list, is, I think my tummy's gonna start rumbling as well, I'm just really hungry. I hope it doesn't do it too loud. Oh, there's something that's not here. We also sold, we haven't picked it yet, um, yeah, some Minky, that's in the cleaning brand Minky, um, M Cloth three pack antibacterial cleaning pads plus four heavy duty wash pads. So we've had this huge like job lot of Minky stuff. And I know that Mrs. Hinch loves it and like promotes it as well as like loads of other sort of um, influencer cleaner types on Instagram and TikTok and that. And they, we just cannot shift them, cannot shift them at all. So the cost price of that bundle was £2.68, which we got in September. We've been reducing the price, reducing the price, and then we just like get it gone or get it all gone. So we put a 20% off promotion on there and it sold for 5 42 But what I might do is delist it because uh, that one sold, obviously we'll post that. But there's 10 packs left. I might just delist it and just do a job lot of Minky products because um, it saves us time, effort, packing, postage prices, all that. So that's what I'm going to do with those. So just pretend that you've seen it because we forgot to pick it. Um, this next one, they're both heavy. Oh my goodness. They are Green Master Proline Lawn Bowls. They're all bagged up. Size five, heavy black gripped stamped, zero five. So it means they've got zero five stamps on them, which to me and you probably doesn't mean much, but to bowls players it does. Um, it came with a, a, like a tartan bowls bag as well. Uh, we got these, I think we got a load of them in the auction and they cost us £13.11 per set. And we sold these for £35.20 plus post. Um, I think we've reduced the price on those maybe or took an offer. Oh, but we always do well with bowls. And then our, the last item I'm going to show you is really, really good. Excuse me, got the hiccups. This came in when we were on a really nice job walk last week. And I saw my phone ching ching while we were out. Because it's all on my phone. And Simon didn't see. And we planned to go to the pub on our job walk. Which was like a bit of a perk, obviously. Because... We haven't been able to do that for so long. So I waited till we got our drinks and we were sitting down in the garden with the dogs and, and I said, I think we need to do a cheers. Congratulations, because we've just had a really great sale. So it's a three book. So it's the Third Reich Trilogy by Richard J. Evans, hardback, three book collection, rare historic. Simon picked these up in November in a charity shop for £40. He was umming and ahhing about it and just bit the bullet and did it. And we sold them, I think it was Thursday, for £199.99 plus post. So £208.48 and they're going GSP to France possibly. But I mean, what a great sale. So he had a beer, I had a gin and we toasted to this amazing sale. So we had two amazing sales in the last week while we've kind of sort of not had our feet up, but we've been enjoying the weather, enjoying... The time that we wouldn't normally enjoy if we were working full time for someone else so it's those things that make it all so worthwhile uh, so yeah that is everything did you like what what like did you like uh, can't speak did you like what we sold would you have picked any of this stuff up um does it make you want to source differently uh, i'd love to know what you think we get such positive feedback for our videos and uh, messages and all sorts of um comments on instagram as well because we're fns resellers here on youtube but we're also fns resellers over on instagram so there's a big community of people and everyone's really great and everyone seems to be loving our videos so doing something right uh so i need to go because i need to get simon to he's the, in charge of packing um so i can do some listing and if you liked the video please like it comment subscribe notification button you know the score um, give us a shout if you want to say hi uh, we're always here to help we're happy to help uh, any questions you might have and um, pop on over to instagram and let us know how we can help um, but yeah have a good day enjoy listing sourcing selling the whole reseller experience and i'll be back with another video very soon see you later bye